Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Lester here. Sa video na ito, subukan kong sagutin yung ilan sa mga pinang-common questions about sa work ko bilang isang digital marketer. So, ano ba talaga yung ginagawa ko? Uh, paano ako nakapasok dito sa work na ito? Okay ba yung kitaan? Bakit ito yung napili kong career? And paano ka pwede rin makapasok bilang isang digital marketer? So, if interested, please keep on watching. Kasi na sa background ko, medyo under renovation pa siya. Supposed to be ito yung garahe namin. So, naisip ko na, so nagsimula yung pandemic. So, alam mo natin, marami is work from home, including us, my wife. Tapos yung mga anak ko is uh, online learning. So, kailangan din lang space para makapag-aral. So, decide namin yung garahe namin is turn into some sort of studio slash home office. Kasi dito nag-work at yung mga kids, dito na rin sila nagkaklase. And under renovation pa siya. So, yung background is hard flex pa lang siya. Pero I'm planning to to have some sort of a studio vibe. So, ginawa ko, bumili ako ng mga acoustic foam panel. So, pakita ko dito sa screen. Uh, sa Lazada, um, malapit siya i-deliver and plan ko ilagay dito sa buong wall na to para mas presentable naman yung background to. Pero medyo matagal pa yung deliver niya pero you'll see the development nito ng aming mini home studio uh, as we go along with this channel. By the way, I'm also part of another channel, yung family channel namin, which is House Karahan. I'll put the link on the description box below para makasubscribe din kayo. Uh, we talk about kids, parenting, and family life. Just recently nga, kinunta kami ng GMA7 News para ma-feature isang, or dalawang videos namin. And, yan, nakaka-flatter na, na na-feature na yung mga vlogs namin sa sa mainstream media. So, yeah. This one is uh, my personal channel and I'm hoping to talk about digital marketing kasi nga yung career ko. And hoping to spread more awareness, more uh, information about our career. Kasi medyo bago pa to eh. Not a lot of people na nag-exist pala itong trabaho na to. And I'm one of those na fortunate enough na nakapasok sa ganitong industry. Hopefully, with these kinds of videos, we'll get more people na i-consider yung ganitong career. And uh, para din sa mga businesses to for them to to be informed na ah, may ganito na palang classing services na pwede palang makatulong sa sa mga businesses nila. Ayun, sige, balik tayo sa topic natin. Subukan so, i-simplify yung mga sagot sa mga common questions na natatanggap ko as a digital marketer para mas madali natin siya maintindihan, especially yung mga outside the industry na hindi naman well-versed sa mga sales and marketing terms. So yung first question na sasagutin ko is, ano ba talaga yung ginagawa ng isang digital marketer? The simplest way I can put it is, kami mga digital marketer, tumutulong kami sa mga businesses, sa mga brands para mas makilala sila at makabenta using online or yung internet technologies. That's why it's called digital marketing. So traditionally, yung ginagamit ng mga businesses is yung TV, radio, billboard, prints, yung mga newspaper, magazines. Ayun yung traditional way of advertising and promoting yung mga businesses. Uh, marami pang iba, pero that's the most common. Pero these days, yung so nung nagkaroon na ng internet, yung modern marketing, ginagamit na natin yung mga website, social media, online ads, uh, search engine marketing, Uh, or SEO. Ito na yung mga makabagong technique or tactics na pwede natin magamit para makilala yung business natin at mas makabenta tayo. Medyo malawak din yung scope ng digital marketing so mahirap siyang ma-discuss in just one video. Kaya plano ko himay-himayin siya in future videos like yung topics ng website, ng SEO, ng pay-per-click marketing, ng mga Google Analytics. Don't worry kung di mo siya naintindihan ngayon. I would understand that kasi these are all new concepts for a lot of people especially yung mga sanay na sa mga traditional way of marketing. Pero So that's, that's the goal of this channel is to spread more awareness, more knowledge about it. Hopefully, magkaroon tayo ng mas maraming digital marketers kasi super in demand itong trabahong ito ngayon. So if hindi mo naman maintain yung mga videos na yun, uh, you can comment on this video or send me a message sa aking social media channels. I'll put that on the description box below din. Para we can talk, we can, we can discuss things. If you're interested with digital marketing then I think I can help you understand it more and pwedeng baka ito din yung maging karir ninyo. So second question is, paano ba talaga ako napasok dito sa karir na to? Well, unang-una is, tinapos ko yung pag-aaral ko, of course. I graduated BSBA, Marketing Management sa De La Salle College of St. Benilde. And of course, malaking tulong yun na, nagtapos ako ng marketing. Pero, sa school kasi, they teach more of the traditional marketing. If I remember correctly, parang isa or dalawang subjects lang talaga yung about digital marketing. It is not a requirement na magtapos ka ng business course or marketing, pero it's a huge advantage kasi at least you have almost half of the theories kasi you still need to understand yung traditional marketing para mas madali mong ma maintindihan din yung, yung modern marketing which is yung digital marketing. May mga kilala ko na galing sa ibang industries like engineering, uh, may mga nursing pa nga kasi digital marketing is one of those career na if you're passionate enough, if you learn enough, if you uh, put your mind into it, 
you can actually learn it kahit hindi yung course mo kasi all the informations are available online. Well, malaking tulong niya sa akin na sa school na meet ko yung isa sa mga mentor ko. Uh, shout out to Miss Chrissy. So, siya yung tumulong sa akin para makakuha ako ng internship opportunity sa Microsoft. And from there, yun, doon na nag-start yung karir ko sa IT, uh, B2B Digital Marketing. Pero still, sabi ko nga kanina, the best way kung gusto mo talagang makapasok dito sa karir na to is really do your own research, read, uh, watch videos, and even uh, talk to people and decide later on kung ito ba, gusto mo ba tong gawin kasi everything is available online it's up to you kung gusto mo siyang matutunan so the next question is, magkano ba talaga yung kinikita sa karir na ito? well, the, the short answer is depende so depende sa role mo, depende sa employer mo, depende sa skill level mo, depende sa experience mo and I think pinaka-importante depende kung paano mo din ibebenta yung sarili mo or how do you market yourself. Yung digital marketing medyo bago pa siya so hindi pa ganun ka-establish I think yung salary structure niya at least here in the Philippines. Pero I think there's a huge opportunity for growth kasi especially ngayong pandemic na realize ng mga tao na o oh nga dapat meron akong online presence. Oh nga the future is online selling. As we all know sa sa US Amazon na talaga yung e-commerce na talaga yung pinakang in na way of selling. So, in the Philippines, yun, na-realize na rin natin siya. That's why, ayun na rin, sobrang boom na boom na rin yung Lazada and Shopee. And a lot of people are doing their online selling, uh, mostly in social media. Pero, this all requires skills in digital marketing. Habang mas lalong naging intense yung competition, mas lalong kailangan mo nung skills para makipag-compete, para makabenta ka rin. Whether you're selling goods or services, then online is the way to go. And people like us, digital marketing professionals, ayun yung ginagawa namin. If you're new, if, you're, if you think you don't have the skills yet to do online marketing, then we're here to help you. So, balik tayo sa kinikita. Personally, fulfilling naman yung, yung compensation niya. Right now, I'm still an employee. I'm working for a US-based IT company. Pero remote siya. I'm doing it, the, the work here in the Philippines. And so far naman, um, and not to brag, pero nakapag-invest na ako ng bahay, ng sasakyan, and you know, we're, we're having a good quality of life because of the career that I've chosen. And I think still has a lot of opportunities for growth. Isa paraan para mas lalo mo pang ma-maximize your potential earning is doing this as a business. In fact, I already started mine. Uh, Pray ko, enough na experience ko para turn this into an actual business. So I started, uh, I registered a business called hgweb.ph. I'm starting at a small agency. So on the side, I'm doing consulting, I'm doing website, I'm doing social media for small businesses. Para kung whatever I've learned for the past eight or nine years, I can apply that with and help small businesses para they can also grow and take advantage of the modern digital marketing tactics. So next question is, bakit ba ito yung napili ko talagang career? So I think I've shared a little bit of the answers sa mga first few questions. Pero just give you a little backstory. Nung bata ako, I wouldn't say na ito yung pangarap kong work. Uh, in fact, hindi pa nga siya nag-exist nung panahon na yun eh. Pero, one thing I know for sure is mahilig ako sa computer. Uh, magaling ako mag-drawing. Mahilig talaga ako sa mga arts, ganyan. Paborito kong subject is really math and statistics, mga ganon. I had an opportunity nga to study sa business school, which is the Lizal College of St. Benilde. And natapos ko na yung marketing management. Ayun, so narealize ko na doon magagamit ko yung mga skill set ko. I could really excel and something that I can really be uh, good at. Another reason is siguro yung pagiging remote ready niya. Uh, which means you can actually work kahit saan, basta may laptop ka at internet connection. So go to offices, kasi may offices yung mga mga companies na napagtrabawan ko. Pero palagi siyang may option na you can work from home or, or an, a coffee shop which uh, I think gives you flexibility, gives you a little bit of freedom. Ngayon, the pandemic, so it it's a blessing in disguise na yung existing na work ko is talagang perfect for uh, work from home. So, hindi ko siya naging problema. Another reason is yung gaano kalaki yung impact niya sa isang company if you do it right. Um, madalas ang kausap mo is yung mga decision makers like head of marketing, um, yung CEO, business owners, and yung mga strategies and yung mga tactics na i-recommend mo sa kanila and i-implement mo. Uh, kadalasan, if you do it successfully, ang laki ng impact niya sa business. And it gives you satisfaction na uh, what you do matters for the business. Last but not least, I think yung, yung career as a digital marketer is very dynamic. Meaning, every day, iba-iba yung task na gagawin mo, iba ibang projects, iba ibang tao yung makausap mo. And it's evolving. So, kumbaga, uh, you have to keep on learning, you have to be always ahead of the game because every day there's new things that that you need to learn updates with 
with algorithms, updates with the tools that you're using, updates with the market. Kailangan mo din adjust kung ano nangyayari sa market. Like, during crisis, during pandemic, if it's going up, it's going down. The trends, you have to be aware of them. So, it's very challenging at the same time, keeps you on your toes na to have that mindset na continuous learning. So, that's another thing na I really, really like about this job. And last but not least question na i-discuss ko dito sa video na to is yung paano ka ba pwedeng maging isang digital marketer? I actually have another video na ginawa na doon. Link ko na rin sa description dito. I'm not sure if it's comprehensive enough. Probably I'll do more videos about this. Pero, pero papayo ka ngayon is really do the research starting now. Like, uh, read books, uh, read articles, watch videos, talk to people. Uh, I'm open to to share whatever I can. Sabi ko nga, you can message me on my social media. I'm willing to help. Kasi this is what this channel is all about. At hindi lang to para sa mga aspiring digital marketers. Makakaturing itong mga videos na to para sa mga businesses, sa mga maliliit na mga organization na walang sariling uh, digital marketing team para may apply nyo sa sariling yung business and makatulong para sa inyong sales and marketing. If you're a business, if uh, struggling kayo yung digital marketing niyo, get in touch with me. I'm willing to help regardless kung yung problem is about your website, your social media, sa lead generation. Uh, I'm open to conversations. I think that's it for this video. Hope may natutunan kayo. As I've said, I've committed to doing more videos like this. Uh, you can let me know if you have other topics that you want me to discuss regarding digital marketing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga future uploads. Again, my name is Lester and thank you for watching. See you sa next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.